All right, so I've been checking out this new show uh, on Peacock. Uh, it's called Bel Air. It's uh, basically a sort of a reboot of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air starring uh, Will Smith from back in the day. We all know, most of us know about it. Anyway, there's a scene, um, a couple of scenes that I wanted to uh, break down for you guys because you guys know anytime there's uh, there's RP Truths uh, staring us right in the face, you guys know I got to break it down. So here we go. So we have to put more of our money into the campaign. Okay, so Aunt Vivian asks, so we have to put more money into the campaign. So Philip Banks is running for District Attorney of Los Angeles. Nobody knows what exactly Vivian does for a living. Uh, apparently she was some sort of big time artist back in the day, but then she got married, had a family, had to give that all up. Philip Banks is the head of household. Uh, as far as I know, he makes all of the money. Yet here's Aunt Vivian talking about how much more of our money do we have to sink into this campaign? Never mind the fact that it is her husband, Philip Banks, who made all of the money and is now running for running for LA district attorney. Now, keep in mind, they are married, and, you know, you have to understand that if a man wants a woman's counsel, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I'm not married. I'm in a long-term relationship. If I if I need Devin's counsel on something that I don't necessarily know about, like SEO, internet, web stuff, then I will ask her. But I'm not going to defer to her for financial guidance on 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 something that I'm in charge of. So right off the bat, just that, so how much money are we supposed to sink into? It's almost as though he's running it by her to get her permission to spend money on this campaign. The donations have slowed down, so we have to step it up. Our LA is an expensive market. So now we have two men. We have Philip Banks, the, the main breadwinner and head of household, and we have his campaign manager. Think about this situation. <clears throat> they know much more about campaigning and politics than Aunt Vivian ever will. Yet these two men are sitting here trying to explain and justify the uh, the additional expenditures that comes with campaigns. Why are two grown men who are experts in their fields deferring to a woman who knows nothing about this field, about the financial direction of his campaign? This is not a realistic conversation for successful relationships, I'll tell you that much. This is why this is on TV. This is why this is make-believe. And with Fred in the race, I need to stay on the offensive, which means more ads. Is there a limit to how much we're going to sink into this? Is there a limit to how much we're going to sink into this? Again, listen, I know Aunt Viv is the wife and this and that and the third, but, I mean, if we're talking about an RP relationship, it's not, li it's not like Aunt Vivian is just completely irrelevant. But again, this is Philip Banks' campaign. What Aunt Vivian is supposed to do is she's supposed to smile for the cameras, be the good, dutiful, doting wife, and allow her husband to do his thing, which he's been doing clearly for years. But again, Philip Banks and his campaign manager, they're still trying to justify their additional campaign expenditures to Philip's wife. This is not how this is supposed to be, guys. Okay, now I wouldn't think about it as sinking money. It's more of an investment. Oh, so Stephen, how much are you going to invest in this? So now Vivian has gotten into her emotion. She doesn't want to spend their money, and she's asking Stephen, the campaign manager, so Stephen, how much do you want to invest in this? Uh... Aunt Viv, Stevens, the campaign manager. Philip Banks is paying him to run his campaign. That question was completely out of pocket. It was out of left field. So basically, she's saying, okay, it's our money. It's easy to spend our money. How much are you investing? That question was irrelevant and it, it was completely emotional, completely female. Typical female BS. Okay, And there we have it. She asks him this irrelevant question, and of course he falls back like, well, I don't want to answer because I don't want to incur the wrath of Aunt Vivian. Honey, take the long view. Me running for DA is just the beginning of my political career. I just need some time to think about all this. Need some time to think about all of what? The campaign is already underway. Two of, uh, two of his biggest donors have pulled out, so he's going to have to use his own money to fund his campaign. What is there to think about, Vivian? If Aunt Vivian decides, hey, you know what, we're not going to spend the money. What's Philip Banks supposed to do? What, was he supposed to just drop out of the race? No. This is why this this is why this whole dynamic is all wrong, guys. Again, it's not like Aunt Vivian is completely irrelevant, but she's out of pocket here. 
Philip should not be running. He should not be running campaign strategies or or expenditures for campaign uh, for campaign spending by his wife, unless of course she maybe is an expert in accounting or maybe she's she was a campaign manager herself. But as far as I can tell in the series, there is no indication that she is or ever was an expert in either accounting or campaigning. Yet somehow she is looked at as the expert. Should I transfer the money back? back aunt viv is out of pocket again should i transfer the money back back like philip needs like a man needs permission to spend his own money on his campaign from his wife guys this is all wrong and of course Dwayne martin's character the campaign manager is like oh, oh you know what my name's ben and i'm not in it this is one of the main problems with the black community man like this is this is actually a black thing Aunt Vivian's not the head of household, yet they're trying to paint her as the co-head of household. There can only be one chief. There's only one leader. There aren't two leaders. There's no co-leaders. There's the pilot. There's the flight attendant. There is no pilot and co-pilot in a relationship. Yes, you seek the counsel of your woman if she specializes in certain areas or if you need a little more dimension in your own understanding of things. But this is ridiculous. I'm going to go check my email. So you're not asking me? You're telling me? Yes, Aunt Vivian. He is telling you. It's his money, his campaign, his decision. Well, the money was from my account. I just, I just assumed you'd be fine with it. So it's your account now? Yes, Aunt Vivian. It is his account. Listen, I'm sure Aunt Vivian's name is on the account. But Philip Banks makes the money. And if Philip Banks makes the money, Philip Banks gets the final word. Again, this does not mean that Aunt Vivian's opinion is completely irrelevant. Again, his campaign, his money. There's no need for him to seek her permission. You're, you're, so you're not asking me, you're telling me? That's exactly what I'm doing. That's not what I mean. So if I said no, would it even matter? That's what I thought. That's correct, Aunt Vivian. He is the leader, you are the follower. He is the breadwinner, you are the housewife. This is how it works. Your husband does is not your husband is not required to run financial decisions by you regarding his campaign. Again, something you know nothing about, at least not intimately. This is this is absolutely asinine, man. This is the problem with relationships, guys. one you went with this is more black men black men kowtowing to the almighty black woman the black queen that's the line you went with our account like bro like you like like you fucked up you did the wrong thing you're supposed to say x y and z you're supposed to run this this is all wrong we have two black men titans of the industry all got their panties in a bunch because his wife is upset that he spent his own money without her permission this is crazy by the way, the boys are going to have some friends over tonight. Shouldn't be too much for you to handle. Wait, where are you going to be? San Diego Modern Art Fair. Last minute decision. Were you going to tell me? Well, you've been so busy, I figured I'd just do it and get you on board after the fact. You know, that's how we rolling now, right? This is 100% bullshit. So she is feeling some type of way about him spending his own money without her permission. So she, so she decides to make a unilateral decision to go to some art fair down in San Diego, which, by the way, is being hosted by what is assumed to be her ex-boyfriend, who is clearly trying to get at her, in order to get back at Phil. And notice the music change. The music change is the key. The music change tells the viewer that this is something positive. He crossed the line with her. He spent his own money without her permission and disrespected her name. So her getting back at him by going to this art festival, yeah, this is this is just desserts. This is exactly how it's supposed to be. Guys, again, this is why relationships are in the shit, especially in the black community. This is a no-go. This is not a good relationship dynamic, guys. Because your husband made you feel some type of way about spending his own money without your permission, you are now going to put your relationship at risk and not even tell him about it? But then the reason you're not going to tell him about it is because you still feel slighted about the fact that he spent his own money without your permission on his campaign that you know nothing about. Look, if, 
If this is about the campaign money, again, I am so sorry. See, now Uncle Phil is fucking up. So he is now apologizing to his wife about spending his own money without getting her permission first. And the fact that he apologizes, this now concedes in her mind that he was indeed wrong to spend his own money without her permission. Gentlemen, never, ever, ever say I'm sorry to your woman for anything. I don't care if she catches you cheating. I don't, it doesn't matter. Never, ever, ever, ever say the words, I'm sorry to your woman. She will literally lose respect for you. I don't care. I don't care how happy it makes her feel in the beginning. I do not care. As of right now, Aunt Vivian has about this, this much less respect for Uncle Phil, simply because he said, I'm sorry that I spent my own money without your permission on my campaign that you know nothing about. And you know, Vivian's going to say to be like, yeah, you know what? You're goddamn right. You're sorry. This isn't about you. This is me doing something for myself. Me doing something for myself. Now Aunt Vivian is being selfish. Philip Banks is in the middle of a campaign to run for district attorney but she's still worried about doing something for herself. Sweetheart, you live a lavish lifestyle. Your husband is clearly the most well-known, one of the most well-known attorneys in Los Angeles. You guys are worth millions of dollars, yet you're still not happy with being the wife of an ultra-successful man. No, you still got to go out and do something for yourself. That's the problem with women, man. Women, women are always trying to keep that shine. God forbid her husband actually outshines her. And the way she said it, well, I'm going to do something for myself as though being in this relationship is somehow oppressing her. Yeah, I'm sure you feel I'm sure you feel oppressed in that, you know, 50,000 square foot mansion. And it's a good chance for me to finally get some exposure. And I, I fully support that. Thank you. I better get on the road. I'll call you when I'm there. You see that little attitude? I'll, I better get on the road. I'll call you when I'm there. I'll, I'll call you when I'm there. Guys, this is uh, this is outright disrespect. Gentlemen, I'm here to tell you, man. This is why this is why this is why relationships, especially in the black community, this is why relationships ain't working. Man, women like this. Vivi Aunt, dude, Aunt Vivian is a beautiful, apparently submissive housewife. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, now that her husband spends his own money without her permission, now all of a sudden, now all of a sudden, well, I'm gonna do this for me. I'm gonna be in this for me. Guys, at the end of the day, what we have to understand is that. If you want relationships to be successful, you have to stick as close to traditional gender roles as humanly possible. Yes, there are exceptions to the rule here and there to varying degrees, but as we all know, the exception never makes the rule. This little snippet right here, this little uh, uh, this little uh, area that I broke down, guys, this is this is it's almost like the new coming to America. The com the, the the second coming to America was a complete shit show. Everything is turned on its head. All of a sudden, now Eddie Murphy's wife. All of a sudden, now she's kicking him out of his bedroom and this and that and the other. And guess what? Black women all, worldwide. Oh, that's it, girl. You tell him. Uncle Phil spent money, spent his own money without your permission. Yeah, that's right. You go down there. Uh, you go down to San Diego with your ex-boyfriend, Michael Ely's character, and, and Camigo with him. Yeah, that'll get him that, that, that'll get him riled up. And this time, it'll get his mind right. This is why the, this is why the top 5% of black men are with non-black women. Period.